Let's see how to generate uh, random numbers in Python using NumPy. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is to include NumPy, so I'll be loading it as NP. And in our first example, we'll generate data according to a normal distribution. So a normal distribution requires two parameters, the mean and a standard deviation. In this case, I will be putting one for the mean, for the mean and two for the standard deviation. And I will be pulling a thousand uh, random numbers. Then I will be impl imp importing matplotlib uh, in order to plot the histogram. And I will be returning uh, or getting three things from plot.hist. Uh, the count, uh, the beans, and ignored. And here I will be requesting um, the histogram to plot uh, 30 uh, beans. And the norm equals true means that I want to plot the um, density, not uh, the frequency of the uh, distribution. So at the end, the surface that I get um, should be equal, the area should be equal to one. And finally, we'll be plotting the normal distribution uh, in red. And this requires two arguments, obviously the values uh, that I will be using, and then the expression of the uh, Gaussian distribution. So this is just a matter of explain, a, a expliciting what line width I want and what color, and I'll, I'll, I'll be, everything will be ready. After that, I will be uh, getting t student uh, random numbers. So in this case, I need to use a different function, the standard underscore t, and I need to specify how many degrees of freedom I want. The larger the degrees of freedom, the more similar the t distribution um, is to a normal distribution. So let's first start with four. Again, I will be doing pretty much the same thing. And except for the fact that I won't be printing uh, this density because it does not apply anymore. And finally, I will be generating a thousand beta random numbers. And let's see what happens. So this is the first result. This corresponds to a normal distribution with a mean of one and a sigma of two. You can see that this area, if we start summing all this blue uh, area, we should be getting a one. In our second, second example, we have a T student. So the T student, when it has very few degrees of freedom, it uh, essentially has this very, very uh, weird shape where it has long tails and you have a lot of the density concentrated here, very, very um, near zero. So Finally, we get our beta distribution. Remember that beta random numbers are distributed between um, between zero and one. So this is what, what we get here. If instead of four, four degrees of freedom, we have 444, in that case, we should be getting something pretty close to a normal distribution, which is this one. So you can see that right now we, we don't have so many uh, numbers concentrated around zero. We have a, a more uh, fat structure here around the zero. We have values, a lot of values here in minus one and, and around one, where whereas in the previous situation, we, we basically have everything literally around zero. So there are many other uh, distributions that you can use using NumPy but essentially you will be able to generate uh, most of the most important ones.